man, that dollar's getting all over town. <laughs> yeah, like your mama. <laughs> Oh, dang. Oh, man, you know I'm just playing. Hey, man, you seen that movie, The Cove? The Cove? How you just gonna be talking about The Cove? I mean, I saw the movie, but I was like, oh, oh, What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tunji's Podcast. Happy Monday, everybody, first of all. Just happy Monday. Let's be uh, motivated, you know what I'm saying, this week. Let's be prosperous this week, you know what I'm saying? Let's be successful this week, you know what I'm saying? Let's take some steps forward this week, you know what I'm saying? Ha, let's uh, take steps towards ha, prosperity this week. Ha, let's be ha, fruitful ha, this week. Ha, let's be uh, our best selves ha, this week. Ha, let's ha, bring people joy ha, this week. Ha, let's bring only people who bring us joy ha, this week. Ha, let us remove ha, all toxicity in the form of Friendships, ha, in the form of a uh, 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 negative self-talk. Ha, uh, let us remove all toxicity from our lives and only bring positivity and motivation. Ha, this week. Ha, 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 ha. How's that for a motivation Monday? <laughs> Anyways, y'all. Today I want to talk about jokes again. I want to talk about jokes. I want to talk about the fact that. Everything can be joked about. There is not one thing that cannot be joked about. No matter how serious it is, no matter how much it offends you as a person, no matter how much it goes against your personal sensibilities, I am of the belief that every single solitary thing and subject that exists and can be talked about can also be joked about. Because here's the thing, y'all. The whole point of jokes is to take things that are serious and to flip your perspective on them in order to make you laugh. Uh, you know, and, you know, it, it, it's taking on its own uh, version in the form of, you know, Twitter and social media outrage and all that stuff. But since, you know, stand up comedy and, co and just comedy in general, has existed people have always tried to um shut down jokes or try to say you know certain shows or certain people can joke about certain things because this is too far this is too sensitive and stuff like that and yada yada um but the thing about it is though and uh i've heard a bunch of other of my favorite uh you know comedy people say this and i believe it to be true it's just like people only get mad at a joke if the joke is on them. People don't mind laughing at a joke if it's about other people, right? Like, liberals don't mind laughing at a joke about, you know, Trump supporters. But, you know, the moment, you know, a... Any comedian, let's not even say a conservative comedian, just like any comedian who's just neutral makes a joke about the way liberals behave. All of a sudden, liberals want to act self-righteous and we want to, you know, try to shut them down just because they did a joke that was about us. And we can't be self-aware about the situation to just laugh at it and be like, haha, you know what, we do do that. You know, like, it's just crazy, man. Every joke makes fun of somebody or something, you know what I mean? Um, and... You know, it's just, it, it, and, and even if, you know, there's a comedian up there who's, first of all, good at, uh, and like, by the way, this is a total disclaimer, I'm just talking about jokes that are funny. There are some jokes that are out there that aren't funny and they try to address, you know, like, you know, subjects of race or, you know, like war or, you know, like the current political climate that we're in and they're just straight up not funny. In those cases, you know, you don't have to laugh at those because they're just not funny. But if the jokes are being are funny and well done and everybody else in the audience is laughing except you or you know you watched a clip on YouTube of a whole audience of people laughing and you want to you know get mad about it on social media because you know the the all these people were laughing about something that has to do with you I think that to be honest like not to offend anybody out there but I feel like that's just really lame like you got to really if you're Everybody has laughed at someone else. Everybody has laughed at, you know, other people. Um, even people that they love, they've laughed at other people. So, so why can't you take a joke? 
You know what I mean? Like everything, everything, everything can be joked about. I don't care how serious it is. I don't care if it's about, you know, AIDS or cancer. There are comedians out there who are, you know, intelligent enough to find the thing that's funny about it. And, uh, you know, I've talked about this a little bit on other podcasts before, but, you know, the process of comedy is such an interesting thing. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand the process of comedy. And then what ends up happening is like people will go to comedy clubs and they'll see a comedian who's good, but is still working out a joke. So let's say a, um, a comedian is doing a, a bit about, you know, you know, a, a, a sickness like AIDS or cancer or something like that. And they're just working the joke out in the club. It's not finished, it's not done, it's still being worked on. He's just testing it out in front of the audience. Um, the reason why uh, social media has been so rough for a lot of stand-ups is because people will record the clip, the, 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 the unfinished joke, and post it on social media and say, this person's making fun of AIDS, this person's making fun of cancer. Then this comedian gets all this flack for a joke that he wasn't finished yet or she wasn't finished yet it was just a matter of trying to see um how these words combined as the way it is does it produce a laugh or not or does it produce the right kind of laugh or does it get the reaction i want you know what i mean like he's still he or she is still figuring it out but now that joke has been shut down because somebody posted about it and protested it about it while it was still unfinished and that's an important thing for people to know i i, I don't i haven't been to a comedy club in a long time like i, I don't know if comedy clubs like ever say this to people but i feel like it would be a good thing for like comedy clubs to do just to protect their comics is just to be like look you know these jokes some of these jokes are finished jokes some of these jokes are unfinished jokes either way if you feel a way about these jokes do not go out there and protest it because there's a very good chance that this that this comic understood that this joke doesn't work simply by the fact that most of the people in the room were offended by it or or like the joke didn't fly basically um so so don't you know so like don't go out there and try to like you know shut the guy or girl's career down you know what i mean i feel like that would be a good thing for comedy clubs to do um but then there's the other side of it too where like the joke does work and it's you know edgy it's right on the edge but like you know um, but it works as far as the whole other audience, but then there'll be that one person who will be like, my mother and father died of AIDS, and my mother or father died of cancer, so therefore you can't joke about it, and everybody else in the comedy club can't enjoy that joke because of stuff I've been through in my personal life. And like, people just really have to be able to take themselves out of that situation. That comic was not joking about your family member specifically. Because they don't know you, they don't know your family member, they don't know what you've been through. They're talking about like the general situation. You know, it's um, it's it's just really it, um, we do live in an individualistic society. Um, so with that comes, you know, a lot of you know um, self-centeredness, so to say. Um, but you know, if there's ever a con, like like joke telling and comedy is just not the place where you should be self-centered and 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 try to make everything work for your convenience like it just isn't like there's just other places where you can do that you know you know go to a, go to a fancy restaurant you know what i mean like they'll take up all your needs there and you can make all the demands you want but yeah anyway y'all that's just sort of my perspective on the thing like you know comedians get asked all the time like you know is there some things that you just won't joke about and i feel like every good comedian will just be like no i feel like everything can be touched upon there's some things i choose not to by choice because that's just not my style but yeah anyway y'all that's my perspective on that let me know what you think leave me your comments your reviews peace out y'all